CNN has parted ways with contributor Mark Lamont Hill after a speech the college professor made on Israel and Palestine at the United Nations. A CNN spokesperson confirmed Hill was no longer under contract. The network did not give a reason, but the move came amid objections to Hill's speech by the Anti-Defamation League and other groups. Hill, a professor of media studies at Temple University in Philadelphia who had been a recurring political commentator on CNN, defended his speech in social media posts, saying he did not support anti-Semitism or violence against Jewish people and had fought against this. Speaking on Wednesday, he called for countries to boycott and divest from Israel in a speech given for the UN's International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. We have an opportunity to not just offer solidarity in words but to commit to political action, grassroots action, local action and international action that will give us what justice requires and that is a free Palestine from the river to the sea, Hill said in the speech. The ADL and others said the river to the sea phrase was code for the destruction of Israel, often used by Hamas and groups bent on its destruction. Those calling for from the river to the sea are calling for an end to the state of Israel, the ADL's senior vice president for international affairs Sharon Nazarian said in a statement, adding that the annual event at the UN promotes divisiveness and hate. Hill defended his speech. My reference to river to the sea was not a call to destroy anything or anyone, Hill said on Twitter. It was a call for justice, both in Israel and in the West Bank, Gaza. The speech very clearly and specifically said those things. I support Palestinian freedom. I support Palestinian self-determination, Hill tweeted, adding, I do not support anti-Semitism, killing Jewish people, or any of the other things attributed to my speech. I have spent my life fighting these things. We have a small favor to ask. Three years ago we set out to make The Guardian sustainable by deepening our relationship with our readers. The same technologies that connected us with a global audience had also shifted advertising revenues away from news publishers. We decided to seek an approach that would allow us to keep our journalism open and accessible to everyone, regardless of where they live or what they can afford.